Wow. Hey, Panda, what's up? So, Panda's my grandma's cat. Anyway, look, there's all kinds of motorcycle parts on my car. There's basically a bike. There's more motorcycle parts. And more parts. So, you kind of see where it's going. Look, guys. He freaking did it. Freaking did it. He put his bike back together. He got new. His buddy from a long time ago he hadn't talked to in years just kind of had CBR F4I parts lying around. So he was able to get his Honda back together, which kind of fits since I'm a Honda channel, kind of. Um, he just needs a new seat. Well, he doesn't need a new seat. I think he, if he learned how to sew. Because people are like, oh, sewing's not manly. It's like, yeah, but if you can do your own upholstery and don't have to pay another dude who already knows how to sew, who's given into the fact that it's like not, it's like getting a job done and doing it right. And if you want to do it right, you got to learn how to do it or pay someone. So if you can learn how to sew, you can learn how to do upholstery, you fix a seat. And it's pretty, uh, pretty cherry. I mean, he painted it real quick. Nothing crazy. Surprisingly, it drives straight. Or will ride straight. Um, other than that, uh, let's go check back on the tag. So I've been kind of figuring stuff out, thinking about things. Um, not really done painting the bay yet. Um, I uh, ran out of paint. As you can see, there's some black spots there. And that corner is completely black. I did overspray a little bit, but... I want to probably, wow, I'm talking really fast today. Um, I want to probably um, get carbon fiber widened fenders or fiberglass fenders, whatever, the three piece, and then get a, keep the bumper probably just because whatever, if it doesn't fit, well, it doesn't fit. Um, I need to get new wheels, put the brakes on, um, do the electrical stuff inside. And then put the motor in, and done. <laughs> There's Jeremy. He built it. He rebuilt, rebuilt his bike, guys. Like I was just showing y'all. Yeah, did it on his own. Myself, except for the wiring. Yeah, I mean they rewired it and everything. This bike, you the can. Wiring the whole connector was too. That we redid everything. Half off all the ends. Rebuilt the wiring on his here. Then we're gonna extend it under the tank so that way none of the wiring gets wet. And we're gonna take the rectifier and the ECU and show. All that under the tank. Nice. Did you notice I clear coated your thing this morning? Some clear coat on, on it. Peg? Yeah, on your peg. Kind of. needs it. Yeah. He needs it like a, as a quick spray. And the cat's just hanging out. And then I have to add to my car too, but. I figured I'd just shoot a video right before work. Yeah. So I happened in my accident and my crank, my crank case got scratched. And then a little piece of my old pan got broken up. Needs any oil. Uh, need grandma's, case grandma's cat's kind of <laughs> messing around. So anyway, yeah, I gotta put the this guy on still. Um, brake master. Brake we master. Do that line. We gotta do we gotta that CV valve. Yeah, the prop I valve mean, and stuff. The brakes is really the brakes is gonna be what's the most hardest part about it is finding out which line goes, goes where, where and then the once car. you put it once you put it back together it'll be easy. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanna. Motor, we we should try and make our own. What, your shoe? No, e-brake. Huh? E-brake because Matt was welding last night. He welded as an ex he, he made the exhaust for the tally yesterday. He like as you can see, he was welding, all, practicing his welding. He just like was practicing, and then he put a pretty good beat on it. I mean, it's not the best, but now that he has a welder, it's a lot more. You don't have to pay for welding. Yeah. We don't have to pay for welding. Oh, we don't have to, yeah. and and things turn into. Why I, I was gonna use this wheel, Marks. Yeah. But, cause it has a good pattern, but it's not wide enough. Hey, hey can you take this off? And are you gonna go? What are you gonna do with all this extra, all this stuff? Oh, you want me to move this for? These are for. Uh, I'm gonna sell these for Genesis probably, so that way he can have money for his recovery on his bike. Cause mm. we're boys and we take care of uh, each other. So I'm gonna try and put some stuff up on like let go and shit to help him. Cause he's not gonna be able to work for a month. Dang. And he has that house and yeah. bills, you know. So I told him I'll be able to freaking help him out. I'll if I had the money, I'd buy the loot. But he won't tell me the one I want. <laughs> Honestly, after his wreck, he might tell you the one that you want. Yeah, but I have to do payments. I'm pretty sure he'd record that. He already said come by for the other white one. Dude, you should get the 93. I already has the H22 in there or F22B. 
So I could just put my straight 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 in it. So it's a digital uh, dashboard and everything. I should go check it out, it's guys. Not, it's not an SI. Give me a give me a like or a comment if we should go check out this Prelude and then think about just I mean, saving some money, and sleeving this some... one, putting my sleeved engine in this one, put the regular engine in the other one. one. Got a title, clean title, and to the clean yard. clean title. I don't have to worry about anything. I can drive it. I use the Prelude. I'll put the one that's under the motor that's under the house into that Prelude. Take whatever's off of that Prelude and sell it. Part it out, sell it, and then whatever you make on that, put it in this. Yeah. Put pistons, put rods. I mean, I'm trying to save up. I was gonna buy just uh, P5Ps, uh, dude, pistons dude, for some nipons. Even if you stuck some nipons in that thing, dude. I, I was gonna do eighty, uh, eighty five. 87.75s just like you could call them and tell them you're like hey i'm trying to run 20 pounds through a sleeve block what kind of pistons can you make me and they'll make you custom piston i mean yeah i mean anybody i was gonna them. run i was thinking about getting a better turbo though I was gonna run this my much, little my little baby turbo support that well anyway yeah, guys all wired up, look at it it's coming along a little bit at a time i don't have yeah, a ton of money ex extra money I didn't Let's take that wiring harness out of the dash, and I guarantee you Scott will sit, can sit there for a fucking good hour. The wiring harness is already out of a dash. It's just that I don't have, like, the ignition switch or any of the ignition stuff to... Dude, he can add you an, um, an ignition switch if we go and pull the whole one. That's, what, say, say that's what we were going to do, but that day we didn't have the... It's just a, its own wiring harness that plugs into a wiring harness on the thing. That's why we needed that whole harness that day. We should go see if that harness is still there or another harness. It should work for any Integra. Mm -hmm. Wiring is probably basically the same. Just make sure it has a sunroof so it has those. And and we could also just splice it back together. Where did Scott learn how to wire? Just on his Mustang? Nice. Put some Marvel Mystery Oil on that beast. Dude. That's what it does, man. It, it, Everybody talks about the FRI, and I'm like so in, I, like aerodynamically incorrect with all that missing. And Scott's on a power commander on Turquo 112 with a tune, dude, and the FRI, oh. which is stock. He has two injectors per cylinder on his bike, and mine has one per cylinder, dude, and I was yanking the shit out of him. Like, if I. Like no lift shifted into second gear, the so the fucking front wheel would come up, and I would pass him on a wheelie, dude, and come down. That's crazy. We gotta find the GoPro. Anyway, guys, I gotta get going. I got a bunch of work meetings and all kinds of stuff to do. Um, just decided to shoot a video. R6 too. He has an O3 R6. Later, guys. Commander too.